You look kind of strange. Don't bears normally scratch their backs on trees? I don't have any trees in the house. I'm not a bear. Can I paint you white like a polar bear? No. But then I'd be happy because I'd have a polar bear all the time. So I look like a bear? No, but if I painted you white and pretended, <laughs> Stop scratching! It should. I don't care. Stop scratching. It's the Walking Dead is start. on. <laughs> okay, so this is Kevin in his natural habitat after having a back tattoo, and it get to the gets to the itchy part. He's very, very grumpy. He just threw his pants on the bed. Look at that face. Make that face again. No, you squinted your eyes. And he's, he's scuffing his feet on the ground. And he just threw a slipper at me. He's putting his socks on. And he's grumbling to himself. Gotta take my pants off now. You wanna film that? No. Good morning, everybody! Any particular reason why you're wearing flashing horns today? Yes, because I'm going to be the devil today. Okay. After we eat lunch, we are cleaning this house. I cannot stand it any longer. So the devil inside of me is going to come out and make you work. Can I blink now? Can you blink? You, you can always blink. Did you notice I did that whole segment without blinking? No. I did. You have to watch back. Uh, okay. <laughs> Show them the mess. What mess? There's no mess in here. Oh, this is a mess. And it doesn't help that Boomer has totally torn that box <laughs> apart. And I have box pieces all over my floor. So, yes, we are going to do a cleaning of the house today. So, Lucy, in the snow, went out because there was a polar bear in her front yard. And she gave him a hug. And she went off with the polar bear. And what happened when you went off with the polar bear, Lucy? Did they tell you to say hi to me? Love being with you guys. They heard that you guys gave them hugs too. Yes. Yes, I hug them every night. I they do. Know you, and they say that Kevin is just a downer. <laughs> <laughs> Through those spider webs and through the spider, but hi. Hey, sweetie. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. What are you doing? Cleaning Barfly's glass.
He needs to be able to see. Okay. Yeah. He can see now. Good, I'm happy. So he can look up at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to put a pinup girl up there for him to look at. Uh, no, that's okay. Pinup of a skeleton girl. Uh, no. I just cleaned that bar. No, no. I just cleaned that bar. Why are you up there? Mommy. <laughs> Mommy's yelling at me to get off the bar, but she won't let me get on her lap. Wah, wah. Life of a cat is so hard. So hard. Get off my clean bar. Blah, blah, blah. Right, Boomer? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Kevin has something to tell me. You broke your thing. I broke it. Yeah. I don't think I touched it. So it wouldn't, the wax wouldn't come out even after being in the freezer. So I, I tried to chisel it out. And I chiseled the hole in. Um, I took the wax out of that one over there, plugged in, without any issues. Yeah, well, this thing has been cooking over there for like months. Okay, but I am capable of doing it. Oh yeah? Without breaking it. Okay, get the rest of that out. It's n why? You can't use it anymore. Because you said you could. I think you need to be stabbed. I need a feather duster thingy for this and we don't have any. Life's hard. Can we like tape something to this? Because I need to be able to get up there. Can we take Boomer to it? Ebony would be better. <laughs> okay, so Kevin's out in the garage working. I finished the TV room or the den or the back living room. And I was just on the phone with my aunt and uncle because I haven't spoken to them in a while. Let's go see what Kevin's up to. I just wanted to come and see what you were up to out here. Ugh. Trying to make room for stuff. Hi. Hi. You're tall. There's one thing up and out of the way. The dining room. Wait a minute. I clean the bar, you sit on the bar. I clean my table, you sit on my table? Hey, he's no dummy. He's you need to learn the rules in this house, cat. When I clean, you don't get on the stuff I clean. Kevin. What's the point of cleaning it? Train your Kevin? cat, please. I, he has us trained. He needs to live by my OCD tendencies. Uh, you talk to him about it. Get off my table. Yeah, see? Get off my table, cat. <laughs> You're scaring him, I can tell. Oh yes, he looks so scared. The habits of Kevin after he gets a back tattoo. Oh. Every time I walk in on him, he's scratching his back up against a wall or up against a door oh. or something. You're not supposed to be doing that. It itches. I know, but you're not supposed to be doing that. <clears throat> <laughs> you don't see me doing that with my leg, do you? You just got a little tiny tattoo. <laughs> hey. I don't remember doing that with my back. Yes, you did. I don't remember. <laughs> well, that if you don't remember means it's okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. No. Nope. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Good. I'm a little devil tonight. I've been a devil all day. <clears throat> I have been. Okay, so Daryl <clears throat> Roper. Is that a good hmm? 
or a bad? Hmm. One Blazing Eagle One. You're always looking for new challenges, so I have a challenge for you. Go hug a polar bear. There's one. <clears throat> the spasmodic. Remind me never to eat your cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Christopher Trade Show. Thank you for hugging a polar bear and asking him to come to California and hug me, but he hasn't made it here yet. But polar bears do move very slow. And he may need to have stopped along the way to eat. So, he might make it here tomorrow. And I want to give a shout out to you and your little dog too. Shout out to Penelope who is going, who is 17 years old. So, shout out to you, Penelope. Okay, and Lucy Owl found a polar bear in her front yard, and she went and gave him a hug, and her mother had to go look for her. <clears throat> but she wasn't in any danger because she told the polar bears that she knew me, and they just took her back to their den, and they, they had tea with her, and they gave her lots of hugs, and, and they, they all of that. They didn't eat her, huh? No. Okay. No. They didn't <coughs> eat her, because we even oohooed with her earlier today, so we knew she was safe. And they told her to tell me that they, they gave me lots of hugs, too. So thank you, Lucy. And sorry, Portland Creek Dikes, <coughs> if we scared you. Uh, Katie Caroline only has 20, need, only needs 23 more subs to hit 300. I want to do better. Her birthday is March 18th. Okay. <clears throat> Today's what? January 28th or something like that. Let's try and get her to 400 <clears throat> subs by her birthday. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. So, if you're not already subbed to Katie Caroline, go over, check out her channel. She's an awesome little vlogger. Give her thumbs up. Show her some love. Subscribe. Courtney O'Connell. <clears throat> Welcome to the neighborhood. And did you, do you know what she said about us? What'd she say? She said that we brighten up her gloomy days. Good. And there are no polar bears in Wisconsin. Otherwise, she would have sent me one. So I told her, and along with everybody else out there, we have to move to Alaska. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'll just put you in a box and ship you there. Uh, or Canada. You know, one of our subscribers, you know, where she lives in Canada, she says she sees polar bears all the time. Good. Can I come <laughs> live with you? With my five cats. Well, four, because Megan's going to take one. Polar bears will find them delicious. The polar bears will not do that. You don't seem to understand. <clears throat> yes, polar bears are the only bear that will hunt and eat an, a person. Okay? They will not do that to me. Because I am kin. <clears throat> I am part polar bear. Accept this. Let's move on. Robert's Reality. Yes, thank you so very much. They are a <coughs> wonderful family. Um, there's Anthony and Lexi, husband and wife, and they have a little baby boy named Landon. And they were doing daily vlogs, and then they stopped. And I missed it. Missed them so much. I miss seeing Landon grow up and everything. So, they are going back to doing just one vlog a week, which I totally understand. It's very hard to <coughs> vlog, especially working full-time and having a baby. So, they are going back to doing one vlog a week on Monday. So, at least I get to see them and see little, little man Landon grow up. So, thank you, Robert's Reality, for coming back at least one day a week. And if you guys are not subscribed to them, you must go over, subscribe to their channel, give them thumbs up, and show them some love, because Landon and Anthony and Lexi are just so wonderful. 
Taylor Carroll. Welcome to the neighborhood. And you know what she said about us? What did she say? She said she loves how personable we are and <clears throat> says it is very much appreciative. Appreciated. Well, nice. Yeah. Thank <clears throat> you. Those are very kind words. So, thank you very much. Shalene TV, shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing to both of our other channels. And make sure you check the credit roll tomorrow morning. Smokey the Bear. I love bears, so I love you, Smokey the Bear. Welcome to the neighborhood. So, that's all the shout outs that I have for this evening. And it are... That's all the, 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 the what? <laughs> That's all the shout outs that I have for this evening, I believe. Is the dishwasher clean? Yes. And Megan's here, but she does not want to come on to the camera. I look like Tata. No shower for me for weeks. Oh, that's not true. You showered yesterday. Time for neighborhood community credit roll. Canned chicken. Yeah. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here today if it weren't for every single one of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thank you for following along with us. Remember, go check out the Neighborhood Zoo and Paranormal Activity with the Neighbors, P-I-N, and we will see you.